Hi there, welcome to Houston DIY. In this video, part four of our video series of Home Assistant, we're going to integrate Toya into our Home Assistant instance. Hi there, my name's Ben, welcome to the channel. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned, this is a video series on Home Assistant, setting up from scratch as a total beginner. We've done three videos so far, uh, the basic setup, we then moved on to video number two, which was um, editing our areas, UI and dashboard. Video three was setting up Sky Connect. I'll put some links in the description. I'll put a link up here to the Sky Connect video because that was quite a good one. Uh, but this video, as we've said in the previous one, was going to be integrating Toya, or Toya, Tua, however you say it, into our Home Assistant instance. Um, so I've got a few Toya compatible devices dot around the house, some smart plugs, I think there's some bulbs. Uh, but main, mainly smart plugs that we use for uh, for lamps and other things across the house. Um, so we'll jump over to Home Assistant. It has detected Toya devices on the network, um, so it should be pretty straightforward getting that set up. But we will step through that step by step and uh, show how to do it in real time. Okay, so here we go. We've got my uh, our Home Assistant instance going on here. I've zoomed in just to make it a bit more clear what's going on. Um, so this is the overview dashboard with everything on it. Here's the Hewson one that we created. I've had it kept adding to this. So the living room, so we've got, obviously the previous videos have shown how to do this with the, with the hive heat in, uh, the blink um, blink cameras, the the LG TV app on that one. Uh, we've got Live 360 connected in, and that's about everything really at the moment. So as I said, Toya integration. So if we go down to notifications, I can see here um, that it has been discovered. So we've got the Toya, Toya, I don't know how you say that, but yeah, anyway, so let's step through it. I'm going to click configure to start with and we'll jump straight into it. I think from memory, you've got to set up um, like an app or, or um, key within the Toya integration side of things. Yes, it does. <laughs> right, so we're going to need this access ID, access secret, account and password. So let me jump off here. It should give me some documentation. It does indeed. So hit the documentation button um, and the yes. So I've previously done this before on a previous instance of Home Assistant. Um, so let me just get this loaded up so I don't have to do it from scratch now. I'll get the page ready and some information inputted and then we'll jump through it. Okay, so this is a Toya IoT platform, so iot.toya.com. Uh, I've created an account and logged in with it. So I've used my existing account, but you can create a new account. I won't step through that, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, as always, the Home Assistant um, documentation is excellent, as always. Um, so I'm going to step through this just to show you how to do it. Uh, so if I go to Cloud on the left-hand side, just there, and click on um, Development. See there, I've got my old Houston Home uh, one I created back in 2021, that one, flipping heck. Um, so go... We'll do it from scratch. So I'll click on create cloud project over here. And then obviously enter the information for your particular install. So I'm going to call it Houston Smart Home just to differentiate it from the other one. I'll copy it and paste that into there. Industry. It says in the guide over here uh, for, for the development method field, select Smart Home smart home and then data center okay so there is a map in here to choose from so let's have a look so i'm in the united kingdom just do a quick find on there united kingdom 44 so it's like the uh, phone country code for your uh, for your mobile phone or your uh, home phone so the map in there united kingdom 44 central europe data center Click on there, Central Europe Data Center. Excellent. Right, so I'm going to click. I don't think I need to change the industry. No, there's nothing specific to industry. So I will click Create. Okay, so Authorized API Services. Let's jump back here. So we need to make sure you have the device status notification. So we'll jump back to the IoT Toya platform. Device status notification. 
along with IoT Core, Authorization, Smart Home Scene Linkage, IoT Data Analytics, and then that one there, Device Status Notification. So I'm going to click Authorize, I would have thought. Yes. It says click Authorize there. Authorize. Okay, so now you can see, then it just created the Houston Smart Home, um, Access Client ID, Client Secret, and the Project Code. So these are the what these are the stuff I need when we were setting up that integration. So we'll get all this information, go back to that integration bit on, on my dashboard and set that up. Okay, before we do that, we need to link our Smart Life application, which I use for my toy devices on my phone, to this um, development project we've set up. So this is totally separate account, etc., to your actual device account. So we need to link our devices, device account to this IoT um, development project. So click on devices tab up here, which it does tell you to do in the guide. So navigate to the devices tab. So we need to click on link the Toya app account. Link Toya app account there, there's a tab just there. And then we click on add app account, which is the blue button on the right hand side there. Okay, so this is again what I mentioned previously about using the QR code, uh, linking it to your smart life, smart life application. So let me just get mine up on my phone. So I've got a smart life application. I've got multiple bulbs on there um, and some smart plugs. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so within the uh, Smart Life application. I'll put the uh, the phone screen on the screen at the same time. So I'm going to go to the top right hand corner and press on the blue plus button and click on scan. So I'm scanning now. I'm going to scan that barcode. I'm going to confirm the login. So device linking automatic recommended. Let's make sure that's what it says. So we want it to all permissions really, yeah. So not just read, just want to control it the other way around as well. So I'm going to go to read, write and manage. So I've selected that bottom one there and click OK. So 14 devices found in the account. Click OK. And we can see on the screen there and on my phone there, links up with all the ones that I've added in the past. Obviously a few of them are offline which I expect because I've, I've got some Wi-Fi issues outside and some of the lamps are switched off at the main plug. But that's successfully added my Smart Life account to this Toya IoT platform development project. And then we've added the devices, it's found the devices, which is brilliant. Okay, so now we can do the final part, which is adding the integration into the Home Assistant instance, which is going to bring in all these devices, hopefully, into Home Assistant. Um, so I've clicked back on to... Um, the development project, the Houston Smart Home one. Then you click on authorization, and these are the inform these are the stuff we need here now. So I won't show these on the camera, but um, I will grab them and obviously head over to Home Assistant. So back over to Home Assistant, back over to this uh, discovered integration. Click on configure. I'm in the United Kingdom, so IoT Access ID, which you can see there is that one. So I want to copy that across. Copy that into there. Access secret, which again is that one. So I'm going to get that and I'm going to account. Okay, so here just just I would have caught me out there. The account is the Smart Life app account, not the IoT platform account you just set up. So that's one thing to to look out for or just to be mindful of. So I put my information in here if I can remember it. But obviously, I just use same username and password for all all things. Okay, eventually got there. Um, so username and password for your Smart Life application. So you can see it's brought in all the devices that we saw on the app. Power testing socket I've got that I did for some power testing to see how much energy we were using. These outdoor garage wall lights. Um, so hopefully I can just add to the outdoor for now. So again, this is adding obviously your devices into different areas. So I'll quickly just jump through all this. So 
Okay, so we add them to different areas and then pop them into, and then confirm that, sorry. So if we go to devices now, you can see there they've got the Toyo logo with all the different devices. So that's added them all successfully. Okay, so let's quickly just jump into our dashboard, Houston dashboard. I've got the spade icon, which um, is outdoor. I'm going to edit the dashboard. Um, and I'm going to add a new card, just just a test card. This isn't how I'll leave it, um, just to give this control. So we've got a light. So I've got an outdoor light by our workshops. So I'm going to click on that light. And hopefully, it's just down a smart bulb. Yeah, that one there. It's a smart bulb. I'll just put workshop outdoor like that save okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test this control it in home assistant and see if it updates in the app at the same time see what the uh, how quickly it does it okay so we're recording the phone recording my home assistant UI so I'm just going to save that so I've got my blink cameras I've also got the, also the workshop light there so if I click on that and you can see in the application as well, we've got the smart bulb there instantly within the application. So if I turn it back on in the app, press that, and it's back on there straight away. That is more or less, that's unbelievably instant to be honest with you. Um, so if I go into here, into the actual smart bulb, I'm gonna use this dimmer to dim it down, see if that's instant. Yeah, we can see at the top there, we've got the bar at the top, I'll put that up on there. Does it in Home Assistant exactly the same. Turn it all the way down, instant. All the way up, obviously different colours out there as well we can do. Um, but you can see that that replicates instantly with between Home Assistant and the Smart Life application. That is pretty impressive. So again, turn it off, turns it off. And then I'll move the mouse away so you can see I'm just pressing that in the phone app, uh, the power button there. Turns it back on and it's instant within Home Assistant. Very impressed. Okay, so that's the integration done. So we've added the Toyo integration into Home Assistant. We use the IoT Toyo website to set up a, a, like a developer account almost, create a development project in there to get that um, Smart Life devices added into it. That was simple enough. Again, the documentation on the Home Assistant website is brilliant. You can follow that along really easily with screenshots, etc. Shows you how to do it. That was simple enough. Added the devices into Home Assistant using the integration, using our Smart Life application. Devices were auto imported, and then we did a test of adding a, the outdoor smart bulb into Home Assistant and controlling it using both the Smart Life app and Home Assistant. Um, so that was really simple to do, no problems whatsoever. Um, and you could see that the speed between updates between the Home Assistant app and the Smart Life app were brilliant. Okay, so you can see on Amazon, obviously, smart plugs are one of the main things really for the Toya, Toya compatible devices. Uh, packs of four for around 30 quid. Sometimes they're on special offer, obviously, you've got, you've got some there. This one here with 34 pound with five pound off, so 29 quid. So you can get a good deal on four of them. A lot of them do energy monitoring as well, so you can, in the app, you can actually see how much energy they're using. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do a separate video on that, integrating into our new tumble dryer, see how much energy that's using. Um, I've done a video, and I'll put that up here, a link at the top for the install of our um, tumble dryer, but I'll do a separate video on the energy monitoring of that. Um, so I just want to show some devices you can get. I've got different brands that I've integrated into a Smart Life application. Doesn't really matter, you can cross brand. Um, they're all using the same underlying technology. Um, but yeah, there are other compatible devices out there, but as I say, I've used some um, GU10 bulbs, which I'll show you now as well, some GU10 smart bulb. So these can go into like kitchen down lights or I've got them in outdoor lights, connect to the Wi-Fi. Obviously a little bit more expensive probably than just normal um, LED GU10s. But if you buy them in packs of four, six, it obviously brings the price down. So you've got smart plugs, light bulbs, um, and I, that's probably it. The only things I've used anyway for the uh, Toyo compatible. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it's been useful. If you're setting up your own Home Assistant or looking at Toyo compatible devices, and if you can use them in Home Assistant, which you can. Uh, we went through the setup process of configuring the integration in Home Assistant, setting up that, that IoT developer account on the Toyo website. Super simple, super easy to do. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If not like, if not like, if you've not liked it, give it a dislike, give it a thumbs down. 
Um, in the next video of the Home Assistant series we're doing, um, we're going to set up our, well, I've, I've got an account on Home Assistant Cloud, but we're going to integrate that into this Home Assistant uh, instance, get that set up and working, where you can do Home Assistant remote management, so you can log into your Home Assistant instance away from your home, um, and you can also connect into the Amazon services using the cloud. Uh, but that next video, we'll go through that step by step, get connected or reconnected back into my Home Assistant cloud. To watch the rest of this series, the Home Assistant setup for the, on the Houston DIY channel, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.